Good morning, race fans. It is, oh, sorry, I was blocking the camera there for a second. It is Saturday morning, which means it is race day. So we are headed out to round number two of the MWXC series. And uh, you may have heard in one of my TikToks, um, you may have heard some stuff going on in the background. I've actually got some ducks and some chickens. Chickens are sleeping, ducks are wide awake. But that has nothing to do with this video, but I figured I'd show you. Anyway, like I said, we are going to MWXC round two. It is nice and early. It's about 5.50 a.m. right now because we got to head all the way down to Madison, Indiana. So we were originally planning on uh, possibly camping. Gosh dang. Ooh, nice and tight through there. Um, we we're originally planning on camping, but just, uh, with the weather, it's been kind of crappy around Indiana lately, and it got down, um, below freezing last night, so it was like, eh, we don't really want to drag the camper into that, and, uh, plus, we just uncovered the camper, like, three or four days ago, so <laughs> we still got to do some stuff, uh, to get it ready before we can actually go camping, but the plan is next weekend, uh, at Extreme, uh, to go camping and stuff there, so, heading down this morning, all the way down to Madison, Indiana, this is going to be the farthest race I've actually ever been to, so it's about two and a half hours away, um, not, not too shabby, um, I know much, a lot, most people drive a lot farther than we do, I'm very lucky to be right in the central hub of XC racing, so, uh, it's, uh, it's worked out pretty darn good for us. We got the quads loaded up, the old 137 machine ready to go, she is dialed, and of course, we got the pit quad, not taking dad's quad, I'm just gonna leave it at home for now, since we're going a decent, uh, way, we just need this guy here, and, uh, should be a good day at the track. So, I'm gonna pull the truck around, and, uh, we're going to get headed that way here shortly, so I will, uh, catch up with you guys when we get to the track. Okay, guys, well, we made it out here to extreme, or not extreme, I'm sorry, that was my bad, MWXC round two out here, we got a whole gaggle of people out here. We got my quad looking beautiful as ever sitting right here. 
We got the Kentucky Gang, Byron and Zach Pretty, as well as the Viking. We got Zach right across the road there setting up. We got Braden Shields right here next to us. We got Logan Foltz and uh, Harrison's on his way. He'll be here shortly. But overall right now, it's uh, looking not too bad. Looking a little slick, a little wet. Gonna be some rocks. We're gonna go see if we can find the Pro Hill. And uh, overall, it should be a good time. So I will catch up with you guys uh, after that, or if we find the Pro Hill. Okay guys, we found the Pro Hill, and uh, she's a doozy. So as you can see, I'm standing on top of the hill right now, but if we look down, it's, uh, it's a little steep. Um, as you guys know, cameras don't do anything justice, uh, so the, cam or the uh, camera makes it look pretty steep, but it's actually, I mean, towards the bottom, it's literally almost straight up and down. So we're gonna come in from up on top of the ridge, come down here, and basically send it right up the top go around looks like you got to go all the way down the edge of this over around well actually it looks like you crossed the creek right there go all the way over and then you go all the way up to the top around so what do we think zach how's it going to be I, I don't know i think it's going to get a little muddy at the bottom to be honest with you just a little we got some rock base so hopefully that holds up a little bit but uh we'll see what happens so it's basically one of those things uh, when I'm coming down the hill, I'm going to see if somebody hits it. And uh, right now I'm going to plan on hitting it unless I see a bunch of people at the bottom. So we'll uh, find out when we get here. Okay guys, well we are all suited up getting ready to head up to the line. The quad is already staged up on the line. But we are all dressed up, ready to go in some absolutely fresh, super fresh fly racing light legacy gear so this is kind of a limited edition gear had to get my hands on it you know i'm kind of a uh, uh gear collector if you will so uh yeah we're all geared up track looks like it's gonna be a little slick not too bad though should be some fun conditions so we're uh we're gonna get out there and uh, see how it goes so i'll see you guys up on the line Disclaimer here, unfortunately I did not actually get the whole shot. I thought I did because usually the whole shot flag is on like the first or the second corner. But if you look at this photo here, the whole shot flag was actually like halfway down the straight. So big shout out to Jacob Boisvert. I hope I said your last name right. He is the actual one that got the whole shot. So congrats to him for getting the whole shot. I did not. I uh, overstepped right there. Thought I got it. Unfortunately I didn't. But let's get back to racing.
Okay, guys, well, we made it home from the race. Um, it's actually Monday, so it's been a couple days since the race. Uh, this is actually the day of the solar eclipse for those of you who from are from around Indiana and some of the other places that were in uh, that. Watch that today. That was pretty cool. But anyway, nonetheless, let's talk about the race. So, made it home in one piece. Quad is in one piece so far, as far as I can tell. Um, but yeah, so she looks to be in good shape. Got her all cleaned up real nice. Looking good as ever in that sun. Oh my. But anyway, only damage I found so far is I lost some plastic bolts. Lost a Zeus fastener there. And then I lost a fender bolt right there as well. So not sure really how that happened. But I guess that's uh, what you get when uh, you have a rough race. So let's do a little bit of a race recap. So down in Madison, Indiana. Never raced on a property like that down south. I know IXCR races down there a lot, um, but personally, I'd never been down there, raced those types of properties. You're rocky, you're really hilly um, type of properties. So uh, first impressions, I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. Those long hills, the lot of off camber, the tight, uh, the technical. I, I love that type of riding. So overall, really loved the track. <clears throat> so first impressions there, MWXC, good job on the track, loved it. Uh, let's get through the day. Let's see. Headed up to the line. Got us a decent spot. Was a packed row. Absolutely packed. 27 of us in the row. Not in my class. It's actually a combined class. So it's the B15 to 21 row as well as the junior B row is row 5. So... I uh, had 27 quads packed in there. Knew I needed a good start. Took off uh, on the start. Rocketed off the line thanks to those gbc ground buster three tires giving me all the traction my bnr motorsports 24 volt kit firing that engine over super quick and we rocketed off the line heading into the first corner and as you guys saw i said i got the whole shot um the reason i said that is because usually that is in the the whole shot flag is like in the first or second corner and so i actually went around the first corner around the first barrel first because the other guy blew the corner and then of course i was in first by the time i got to the second barrel so i assumed i got the whole shot but if you look back in the uh, picture that i showed you guys <clears throat> the whole shot flag was actually up the uh up the start like halfway up the start just like on the start straight so I'm not sure why they did that but i guess that's where they decided to put it so unfortunately did not get a whole shot so we're still looking for one of those this year we'll get there i know we will Went into the woods first, was feeling pretty good, running pretty good through there uh, right off the bat. Uh, dipped down into the woods, hit some of the Vet A guys on an uphill, and um, right off the bat, things got a little crazy. People going everywhere, um, all sorts of stuff, and I think a couple guys actually got around me right off the bat. I'm not sure if they were from my class or for the B, from the B15 to 21 class, but either way, uh, I'm pretty sure a couple of the guys got around me, so got around me there uh was just kind of rolling steady the first lap had a couple close calls um where the rear shock really bucked me pretty good on um uh some like kickers not necessarily kickers but just like uh humps in some of the fire roads and then the one was like a little dip that i tried to jump and the rear end hit and just bounced right up about threw me over the bars that was kind of sketchy but um that was also at the same time i was braking for the corner so i was hitting front brake and my rear end kicked up so all together wasn't a good combo but we didn't crash we survived all good there came up on the pro hills uh first lap and uh they were both blocked so there was nothing i could have done there uh, came through the first lap in fourth, I believe. So sitting fourth, not too shabby. Uh, and then uh, from there, my goal was just to kind of run a good consistent day. So uh, second lap, I did actually end up hitting the second pro hill. The first pro hill that me and Zach went and looked at early in the video didn't actually end up ever hitting it because there was people stuck on it the first lap. And then when we came through the next couple laps, I mean, it looked destroyed. It looked so slick, so muddy. I was like, how are people even going up this anymore? And so I just decided to play it safe, run a good consistent race, and I skipped that one. I hit the other one the second lap, and in the moment when I did hit it, it felt sketchy as all get out, and I felt like I barely made it. After watching the video, I actually made it not too bad, and so I probably could have kept hitting it, um, but overall not too bad. Come around second lap, 
<clears throat> I think I had dropped back to fifth. I was in fourth, and then I think I dropped back to fifth. I uh, was running there for a little bit. Uh, let's see, did five, yeah, five laps total is what we did. So second lap, I think I stayed in fifth for the second and third lap, was kind of just running a good consistent pace. Um, the second to last lap, I dropped back to seventh. So a couple guys got around me. Um, and then the last lap was a heck of a lap. So at that point, coming through the second to last lap, um, there was four of us in the junior B class all within, I want to say like 20 seconds of each other. We were all nose to tail pretty much very, very close. And so it was, uh, it was a good battle we had going there, uh, that last lap, I believe, uh, it was Jared Gadbury, um, myself, Ethan Burke, and then Andrew Meyer was in there, uh, with us for a little bit, as well as, uh, Travis Spencer, he was in there, uh, in the battle a little bit as well, but we were going pretty good, um, and so I dropped back to seventh, and I knew there was one guy in front of me I needed to pass, and so I passed him in the creek, that, uh, long, uh, rocky creek down there in the bottom of the ravine, I ended up dive bombing it right at the end, he went up on the creek bank, and I kind of dive bombed down through the middle of it. I was able to get around him. So I kind of worked my way up to six there past that. And so I figured, okay, I just need to stay consistent. I know there's a couple guys behind me. I just need to ride consistent. So I was riding good, nothing too crazy there. And then on the go around for the first pro hill, we were going up and there was a lapper in front of me and they spun out somehow. They spun out going up the hill and when that happened, we all just like dog piled right into him and two or three of the guys got around me. Um, and I mean, yeah, it just was not a good situation. So got backed off of that, got going again, was able to catch up and me and Ethan Burke went at it the entire lap. We were going back and forth. It was absolutely awesome. It was a very, very good battle, which actually now that I know, now that I went back and looked at the lap times, me and him were nose to tail literally the entire race. If you go back and look at it, um, when I was in fourth, he was in fifth the first lap, and he was like 14 seconds behind me, not too far. The next lap, he was like two seconds behind me. The next lap, he was like a second behind me. The next lap, he was another two seconds behind me. So he was right there with me the entire race, and most of those laps, we were kind of going back and forth. He'd get in front of me, I'd get back in front of him, just back and forth, back and forth. Some seriously good racing. That last lap, I'm pretty sure we went back and forth about four times, just me and him, where I'd get in front of him, and then he'd, he'd get a line on me, he'd pass me, and then he'd have an issue or something. I'd take another line, I'd pass him, and we just went back and forth the entire race. Coming into the last field section, the last probably half mile of the track was pretty much a uh, field and then a little bit of woods. Um, he was right on my tail and I was, I was just in front of him and I rode my tail off just trying to hold him off and I was barely able to do it. He was all over me on the corners, on the insides, trying to get any angle he could. And luckily I was just barely able to hold him off. I think I beat him by literally a second going into the finish line. So a uh, big shout out to him for pressuring me all day long. We had some seriously good battles. Uh, thank you ethan burke for that it was a very good time battling it out with you as well as all the other guys in the class we had some seriously good racing it was tons of fun and i i absolutely love it some people want to go out there and just absolutely blow everybody out of the water but in reality the most fun you can have on the racetrack is when you are nose to tail with your competition battling it out tons of fun absolutely love it i would much rather it be like that than honestly going out and winning by five minutes i don't want to do that um you guys may think that sounds stupid but we're in it for the fun if i'm winning by five minutes i'm probably in the wrong class anyway so needless to say had a great time battling it out and i look forward to um the next several races uh this year because uh if this is indicative of what the season is going to be like it's going to be a doozy so overall ended out the day sixth out of 13 in class and uh let's see and i was 35th out of 182 quads overall and then for the pm overall i think i was 31st out of 82 so 
<clears throat> really good day at the racetrack. Um, you may think uh, six, that's not really that great of a day. But honestly, in my opinion, that was one of my better races this year. Definitely. Well, I've only done three races this year, but that was definitely, that was probably one of my best races, honestly, overall, because if you go back and you look at my lap times, I'll throw up a screenshot right here. Um, my lap times are the most consistent lap times I've ever had. They were all separated by, I believe it was 47 seconds at the max was from my slowest to my fastest time was 47 second difference. That's it. That is the most consistent I've ever been. And so big shout out to daniel norman uh for the training session that we put on that he put on with me um big thank you to him because he helped me out a ton during that training session and it really came through in this race am i the fastest guy out there no am i getting faster i definitely am i definitely feel like i'm getting faster i'm learning the techniques and now i really just need to dial it in and i think we definitely have at least a top three in us this season um if not maybe get us a win squeeze somewhere in there so big thank you guys um to everyone that uh, came up to me said hi at the races all that stuff you guys coming and watching the videos i really do appreciate it i had an absolute blast this weekend hanging out uh with all my buddies doing some good racing and a big shout out to everybody um who who else who also raced this weekend. Hopefully you guys got some good results and uh, hopefully you guys had as good a time as I did battling it out on the racetrack with your buddies. So big thank you guys uh, for coming and watching. I really do appreciate it. Big shout out to all my sponsors um, that are coming in at the end of this video because without them, I could not be doing this. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it out now. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.